Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today, we will be unboxing and re reviewing yung bagong entry-level mid-range device ng Samsung which is the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. So yes, I think, ah, correct me if I'm wrong guys, pero ito yata yung cheapest 5G smartphone na ino-offer ng Samsung as of the moment. And yung color variant na meron ako right now is the mint one. And kakulay niya guys, yung iMac M1 ko sa likod. Which is why nandito tayo ngayon nag-shoot. Anyway, I bought the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G guys sa Lazada. La... Lazada! And speaking of Lazada, by the way guys, itong video natin ay sponsored by them. Lazada is having, of course, their 7-7 lowest sale from July 7 to 11. Na kung saan pwede kayo makakuha ng 7 pesos deals on each lowest price category of the day. And ito pa, up to 7 times free shipping vouchers daily ang pwede natin makuha. So wag kalimutang mag-add to cart starting this July 7. And, and don't worry, safe and secured naman mamili sa Lazada application. Bakit? Dahil una sa lahat, meron silang tinatawag na live seller chat feature. So for example, meron kayong item na gusto sa Lazada and you have questions about this specific item, pwede nating i-chat itong seller na to and just click yung chat button sa lower left natin. And after that, we can now chat and ask questions about sa item doon sa seller. Aside from that, meron silang 24-7 customer support. Punta lang kayo sa account page nyo and then click chat with customer care. And then pangalawa, you can chat with Cleo. Ito yung kanilang 24-7 virtual customer officer. And then pwede kayo mamili sa box kung ano yung mga concerns nyo. And then after that, pwede nyo lang itanong kung ano yung gusto nyo live and 24-7. Lastly, talagang safe ka sa Lazada dahil dito sa kanilang credible ratings and reviews. Piliin mo lang yung item na gusto mo and then scroll down ka lang tapos tignan mo na yung mga ratings and reviews na meron tayo for a certain product. Ako, as much as possible guys, I make sure na credible and magaganda yung reviews talaga before I buy a certain product. And of course, for 100% legit items, you guys can guarantee it and get it from their Laz Mall. So yeah, that's it guys. Again, thank you so much to Lazada for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to the topic of our video, the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. Actually, nung binili ko to guys, may libre akong 10,000 mAh power bank from Samsung. Kaya nakalagay free and not for sale. Meron pang ibang kulay itong A22 5G sa Lazada. Meron tayong violet and the white. Pero itong mint na kulay niya, Dito talaga ako na-attract. Ngayon lang ulit ako nakakita ng ganitong kulay. And as expected, it's from the brand Samsung. Alam niyo naman ng Samsung, guys. Very playful sila when it comes to colors. Especially on their low-end to higher-end mid-range phones. Pero ang tanong, is it worth it? Lalo na, guys, na marami ngayon na smartphones ranging from 10 to 15,000 pesos na medyo mas competitive ang specifications at talagang makukuha mo yung value ng pera mo. And for the price, of course, it's 13,990 pesos or kulang-kulang 14,000. Ito ng ating box, of course, yung kulay ng smartphone na meron tayo. And then, yung kulay ng text, mint then guys. Inside the box, kompleto naman tayo. Of course, we have the power brick. We also have the USB Type-C cable. Meron din tayong earphones. At syempre guys, makakalimutan ba naman natin yung ating panundot? Nandito siya sa atin, sa pinakailalim. Physical appearance, talagang maeengan nyo ka talaga sa smartphone na to. Maganda yung set of colors na pagpipilian and... Guys, it's matte. It's also the type of matte na kahit na medyo basa yung kamay natin, is hindi siya masyadong obvious. One solid color lang ang meron tayo. Wala siyang mga gradient effect. Pero gusto ko siya, guys. It looks elegant and hindi nga siya mukhang 14,000 pesos na smartphone. Although yun nga lang, hindi po siya quad camera setup. Mukha lang quad pero LED flash po yung nasa lower right natin. Also, yung gilid ng ating smartphone is also mint. And it's also matte. Alam niyo yung design niya kung ano yung naaalala ko, it kind of reminds me of the Huawei Nova 7i. Although, syempre, Sakura Pink lang yun, pero yung overall aesthetic niya, it really is, looks like the Nova 7i. But of course, with Google. Sa kanan, we have the volume rocker and power button that doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Sa ibabaw, may secondary microphone tayo. Sa kaliwa, may SIM tray that is dual SIM and expandable via micro SD card. And sa ilalim, may headphone jack tayo, isa pang microphone, USB type support at speaker grill. The fingerprint sensor is okay, mabilis and responsive naman siya. Although at times, hindi niya mabasa yung kamay ko, lalo na pagpasmado. Meron din tayong face on lock 
product, which is medyo mas reliable gamitan and mas secured. So yeah, medyo trendy yung ating design. Pero when it comes to the display, kung may kita nyo, it's not so trendy. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong drop notch pa rin. I know guys, 2021 na, supposedly, kung hindi tayo full view display, eh dapat punch hole yung mga cameras natin. Sadly, ito yung pinakauna or isa sa mga downside na nakikita ko sa Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. For the weight, it weighs 203 grams. To be exact, medyo may kabigatan yung device for a plastic phone. Plastic kasi guys yung kanyang built even the frame. Pero magtataka ka, it's over 200 grams. So yes, it's probably because of its battery. Battery guys, 5000 mAh. For the display, meron tayong 6.6 .6 inches of IPS LCD display. And guys, 1080 by 24 pixels resolution ang meron tayo dito. Na merong 90 hertz refresh rate. So yes, surprisingly, may 90 hertz refresh rate tayo sa isang entry-level mid-range device from Samsung. Although, syempre, I was kind of expecting for an AMOLED display. Kasi it's from Samsung, medyo mapagbigay talaga sila when it comes to OLED or AMOLED displays. Medyo makapal pa rin ang bezels natin dito sa phone but I do appreciate having a higher refresh rate which is 90Hz. Mabilis and helpful naman siya guys especially when it comes to scrolling through its UI. And yung display resolution, malinaw and accurate naman ang kulay niya kahit na LCD display lamang siya. And alam naman natin mapa AMOLED man yan or IPS LCD, Samsung will not disappoint when it comes to this place. Sunod nating pag-usapan ang kanyang chipset. It has the MediaTek Dimensity 705G. It also has 6GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. Okay, una, 6GB of RAM. Medyo kulang ito for the price you're paying because most 10,000 peso smartphones, 8GB of RAM na ang pwede nyong makuha. Meron tayong Tecno, Mi Infinix, Mi Xiaomi, lahat yan 8GB of RAM. So if you paid 14,000 pesos at 6GB RAM lang ang makukuha nyo, you won't really get value for money when it comes to that. And then yung chipset niya, again, the MediaTek Dimensity 705G, it's a very reliable chipset na makikita natin sa ibang entry-level gaming smartphones. If you remember, ito yung same chipset that is being used on the Poco M3 Pro 5G that is being sold at 7 to 8 to 9,000 pesos. Which is half the price of what you paid for the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. So yes, in terms of RAM management and gaming, pwede mong makuha yung binayaran mo dito sa A22 5G na 14,000 pesos for a smartphone priced at 7,000 pesos. Kalahati, guys. It scored 252,505 sa Antutu. Mabilis and reliable naman yung phone, guys. Actually, multitasking is not bad. 6GB RAM is a really great base, lalong-lalo na kung kayo ay nag online class and madalas gumamit ng mga social media accounts. So yeah, performance-wise, medyo nakulangan talaga ako. <music> Pero Mary, baka naman maganda ang performance niya on other stuff like cameras. Actually, for the camera, meron siyang tatlo, 48 megapixels na wide camera, 5 megapixels ultra wide, and 2 megapixels depth sensor. And lastly, front camera natin ay 8 megapixels. Okay, set of cameras, they were okay guys. 48 megapixels, it is also the same main camera that is found on the Poco M3 Pro 5G. Ang difference nila, ito ay may ultra-wide at yung Poco wala. Photos from the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G, although same sila ng Poco M3 Pro na main camera, medyo mas reliable and mas maganda ang color reproduction ng Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. It also has good dynamic range. Also, just so you know, meron siyang dedicated night mode. Pero itong night mode, magagamit lang natin ito sa kanyang main camera but not on its ultra-wide. For the selfie camera, expect nyo na na hindi siya ganun kalinaw. Probably dahil 8 megapixels nga lang ang meron tayo dito. Medyo nakulangan lang din ako ng konti sa ating front camera. We could have at least gotten a 16 megapixels. Sunod natin pag-usapan yung battery capacity niya. Dito sa part na to, medyo hindi naman tayo binigo. 5,000 mAh is actually very good. But in terms of charging, 51 51? 15 watt um, lang yung capability niya. So, it's not fast charging. It took me a lot of time bago ko ng fully charge itong smartphone na to. Halos dalawang oras at kalahate. 
Aside from that, ang ating operating system is of course One UI Core 3.1 based on Android 11. Okay, so ayoko nang patagalin at magpaligoy-ligoy pa for the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. Honestly, wala naman na siyang iba pang features na dapat kong sabihin. It's not wireless charging. As expected, of course. Wala rin naman siyang stereo speakers. We only have one set of speakers na nasa ilalim. The only thing na medyo nagpapamahal syempre sa phone na to is of course, it's from the brand Samsung. It's the name eh. And of course, the 5G capability. But then again, mapapaisip kayo guys, meron namang 5G na mas mura na SIM chipset that is being used on the Poco MT Pro 5G. I'm not being biased here guys, pero kasi I'm just giving you alternatives and options. Now, if you really want to be part of the Samsung ecosystem, lalong lalo na yung One UI niya, syempre, ito yung medyo nagpapa-level up sa kanya, lalo na kung Samsung fan or user ka, One UI is a very clean type of skin. By the way, wala rin po siyang NFC. So, totoo lang guys, ang nagustuhan ko lang sa device na to ay una yung kanyang design. Talagang mukha siyang isang premium smartphone dahil sa kulay and sa pakiramdam kapag hawak ko siya. At syempre yung kanyang display. Natuwa ko dahil again may 90Hz refresh rate siya. Something that we should all look forward to kapag tayo ay bibili ng smartphone na nagkakahalaga ng 10,000 pataas. Ang hindi ko nagustuhan, medyo hindi talaga siya, actually hindi medyo, pero hindi talaga siya competitive on the performance side. Una, nakulangan ako sa 6GB of RAM na ibinigay ng Samsung. Pangalawa, yung kanyang chipset. Camera-wise, mas maganda ang photos and video footage na pre-noduce ng A22 5G kisa sa Poco M3 Pro. Depende na lang ito guys sa priority nyo and kung talagang gusto nyong makasulat sa smartphone. Pero kung talagang into Samsung kayo, syempre hindi ko naman din kayong mapipigilan. Nasa sa inyo pa rin yan. Again, I'm just giving you options. So yeah, those are it and everything guys na gusto kong sabihin about the new Samsung Galaxy a22 5G. But, if you will be able to get the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G at its sale price, halimbawa, maging part siya ng 7.7 sale sa Lazada for this month or maybe next month, I could say na okay siya for its price pero honestly, medyo mataas pa rin yun. But, at least, nakatipid ka ng konti. Pero kung fan ka ng mint or green, medyo ma-attract ka talaga sa phone eh. Lalo na ako guys, medyo Right now, medyo I'm into the color green. Honestly, yung nakita ko to, medyo na love talaga ako sa design niya. So that's it. Again, it's your Toggle Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!